cooking between Zomato and Swiggy, Ebix Cash is out shopping in India, PayPal is starting an Indian operation, and Amazon is learning English. Hi, I'm Khan, and welcome to this week's Startup Buzz. Food ordering and delivery platform Swiggy evaluated a potential stock-based merger with rival Zomato, according to sources. The talks between the two management were held as recently as last week, but have failed to progress as differences in business alignment and expected valuations proved difficult to resolve. While Zomato has proposed a stock-based merger, the Bangalore-based Swiggy is keen to acquire and operate the food delivery business of the Gurgaon-based rival, which is Zomato. People aware of the negotiations told ET that talks are unlikely to progress further as two parties could not reach a business alignment. US-based software services company Ebex has acquired online travel portal Via.com for $75 million. The acquisition will help Ebex expand its scope of offering in the travel segment and add more than a lakh of retail outlet to Ebex cash family. This is the fifth acquisition by Ebex in India as in many months since it acquired its cash early this week. The company intends to create a financial exchange to cater to all the payment needs of its customer, starting from remittances, bill pay, insurance, and even travel. Bangalore-based Via, which was backed by venture capital investors like Kalari and Sequoia, had raised about 15 million in funding. Founded in 2007, the company formerly known as Flight Raja is said to have grown about 45% over the last three years. It has a network of 1.1 lakh retail outlets across Southeast Asia and around 8,000 corporate clients. Global digital payments pioneer PayPal is set to offer domestic payments services in India from next week. PayPal, which established a local subsidiary here, would have to battle market leaders like Paytm, as well as Google Stays, Facebook, WhatsApp, Flipkart own PhonePay, and a dozen others. From next week, customers will be able to download the PayPal application and use it to make online payments for goods and services within the country as well. The Echo Speakers from Amazon is here, and the US e-commerce company is trying to teach it English. That is because teams of linguists, p scientists, developers, and engineers have decided to give Alexa, the virtual assistant that powers the speakers, an Indian tone. Our Indian Alexa uses a blend of Hindi and English and speaks with an unmistakably Indian accent. She knows Independence Day is August 15th and not July 4th and wishes listeners Happy Diwali and Prosperous New Year. What is more interesting is that Amazon isn't alone. Technology giants like Apple, Google are also targeting India with its own virtual assistance. This is your week's startup buzz. I'll see you next week. Pakka here at the same place.